There is plenty of room for religion in Washington, D.C., but how much room is there for religion in politics? Students here at GW are divided on the issue. I'd assume that we live in a secular society. I think we are really a country founded on Christian ideals. Whether or not religion's role in politics is ideal, director of the Politics and Values program, Professor Stephen Keltz, recognizes their relationship. I think that uh, it's impossible to avoid having your values or your morality uh, influence policy decisions. Voters come to the political table informed by their religious values. These values are being discussed at a series of presidential forums held by sojourners. The liberal evangelical organization aims to assess the influence of religion in candidates' lives and whether or not that influence will affect policy decisions. One forum for some Democratic presidential candidates was held right here in GW's own Lisner Auditorium. Hundreds of people lined up early to attend the big event. For editor-in-chief of Sojourners magazine Jim Wallace, this forum is just the beginning. We need movements to change politics, and the best movements have spiritual foundations. So we're building a movement now. But where is this movement heading? William Blake of the Interfaith Alliance, an organization designed to counter religious manipulation in politics, has one idea. Our political leaders need to realize that America is the most religiously diverse nation in the world. So if politicians try and govern from one specific faith point of view, you're excluding a lot of other Americans. Even though some students question whether religion's role in politics is appropriate. Unfortunately, I think there actually is a role. Uh, even though there shouldn't be. I personally don't think there should be much of a connection between the two. The debate is here to stay. <laughs> Reporting for GWTV's The Source, I'm Victoria Reese.